Coach, you can start us off. Um, really, really happy to, uh, to to get this one over with. And they uh, they are a very dangerous football team. And they're going to win a lot of games. They're uh, very talented. I couldn't really tell coming into it um, a lot about them because they just haven't been stressed at all and uh, have been very vanilla in what they've done. And uh, they weren't vanilla tonight offensively. They, they and we knew it. You just didn't know what to to really prepare for. I thought their their quarterback was uh, is, is really a competitive guy that uh, keeps plays alive. That, that hurt us at times. But man, I give credit to our kids. We've had a very emotional September, and it's uh, you know for us to come out and take care of business tonight against another undefeated team. Um, I, I'm real pleased. I thought our defense made uh, created turnovers, which was great for us. Still got. A lot of improving to do on that side of the ball, particularly at linebacker. And, um, and, but offensively, we answered when we needed to. Got to finish, uh, we had two drives that we messed up. Uh, Jason's got to learn to speak up. And, uh, and we made a bad call on another one. And, uh, and then Chad made a poor decision down there. But outside of that, I thought we were efficient for most of the night. Uh, we were very balanced, which is, uh, makes, us, makes us pretty good. All right, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. Hugh, you had two 100-yard rushers, but you rode Eugene there in the second half. What were you kind of seeing out of him to make that? Well, we, we work really hard on a plan to uh, to rush the ball against these guys. They do some uh, a lot of different stuff, and so if you you can always be one play behind against them because they're so multiple in, in what they do, and so we work very hard. <coughs> just a check system that uh, that would get us hopefully into the, the soundest play against them. And uh, what we ended up getting Eugene's a little better at probably is a little more patient and has a little bit more of a burst once he gets that crease. And uh, man, I'm excited for him. He, he's a great kid and he's kind of waited his turn. And you know, Penelman got hurt this week in practice and uh, so we were very shorthanded. It was great to see he and Judd both have good games. Joe's got to finish a couple of those runs, get them in the end zone, though, and don't put us in those tight red zone deals. He should have scored twice, and he knows that. And, um, and, and it's tough to score when you get down there. But uh, I was pleased with our run game. You, everybody knows Evan Ingram and opposing defenses are going to try to stop him. What does it take? Or who does it take to get him open consistently like you guys are able to? Well, I, I really think, and you, we all know him and we've seen him, but I think it has, I think it's the play of those other guys. I mean, Demari Stringfellow, Quincy Attaboy Joe, Demarcus Lodge. I mean, how, what, what are you going to do? You know, how are you, if, you, if you do, the only way you can bracket him is put a backer and a safety inside out on him. But that means somebody is is one on one. and. Um, I mean, the run game helps too, and of course, give Evan credit, he's really talented. But if, if you didn't have other people, and I think that's why we're having success in recruiting, is we spread it around, and you know, that's one of the things we show people. You, if, if you have better people around you or on the other side of the field or inside, you're going to get a lot more chances to get open. So I think it's a combination of him being really talented and our other guys playing well. Uh, how much did uh, winning the turnover battle impact the final score? Uh, always impacts it. Uh, you know that was uh, that was big. You know we want to win. We haven't won it much this year, so that was very nice to see. And um, I can't remember exactly what happened after those, but there's no doubt that the turnovers. We've been on the other end of that twice this year, where the turnovers we felt like cost us games. So it's a certain part of it, and it affects it. Uh, you guys jumped after that 14 nothing lead against them last year, and you did it again this year. Did, did you mention anything to the guys after just jumping out to that big lead again? No. Uh, I don't know. You guys remember all that, and uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, that's so far, that's, that's so long ago. We just uh, wanted to continue to compete for 60 minutes tonight. DeMarcus Gates set out for suspension. I mean, do you want to elaborate at all? I don't know what it I'm just, uh, I'm at a point in my life that 
you know what, uh, kids have to put the team first. And um, I, I love our kids and I want to do things that help them long term. And if, you know, if it means I set one, I've done it this year and I'll continue to do it. And the ball's in their court. They understand very clearly, you know, what our expectations are. And I know kids make mistakes. I made them. I still make them. And, uh, but, man, we have to, to be a great program. You have to have accountability to each other in, you know, in some areas that are, that are de definitely detrimental to the team. I was going to ask about Marcus as well. Is that a, is that a multi-game thing? Or? Uh, that depends on him. It's the same thing as uh, I've done with others. I've been very clear what my expectations are moving forward, and uh, we'll evaluate it every, every week. That's obviously a thin position for you guys. Is there yeah. any experiments at this point that you we, can try? Or? We're going to, next week, I've got, a, I've got a deal in my mind that uh, I just we couldn't get it done this week because we were trying to prepare. They're, they're difficult to prepare with all their motions and formations and so, but uh, I've got to, uh, we're very thin there. We're very thin tonight. And um, yes, next week we, we've, I've got a few things in my mind. Coach Memphis seemed to send a lot of extra pressure regularly tonight. The offensive line seemed to handle it. Yeah, when we stay balanced, I, I don't, I, I think, you know, we're, you know, that, that's, that balance and tempo is our old lineman's best friend. And we were able to do both tonight when we wanted to. When we wanted to go fast, we, they were, you know, it was, it was going to be tough for them to get to us. Um, so that helps our old line. But I really thought we played physical at the point of attack. We had very few negative runs. Um, and that's what they do. They're, they're a pressure team that uh, tries to create negative plays so that you get behind the chains. and. We, we were able to stay out of most of those. Uh, just in place of Gates, how did you feel the, the way uh, Taylor Polk played there? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to watch the film first, but we did make some mistakes there. Um, I, I can't say if it was Taylor or if it was Terry or if it was uh, Ray Ray or Rommel, or, but uh, we, we we definitely were, we're making some mistakes there that are giving up some some plays that we've got to get fixed. It's not them all the time. I mean, and again, some of the time you you have to get to the quarterback and make a play, and we were there and didn't. And again, it's very difficult for I don't care how great your DBs or linebackers are, if you change them having to cover from three seconds to six seconds, it's tough. It's hard and. You know, we, we had chances to get there, but give credit to him, man. He's he's pretty elusive. We'll take questions at the top of the room. Stewart's got a microphone for you. Coach, I just wanted to touch on the kids coming out at the beginning of the game and what led to that idea and having them come out with you guys tonight. It was something that, uh, man, we had a great day off the field. Our foundation, um, the Freeze Foundation, had uh, Caleb Waddell here, who's, uh, he's a four-year friend of mine from the St. Jude class that I met. He kind of caddies when I go up there on a hole, and um, he's going in for a huge surgery October 12th, and uh, we had him as our guest all day today. And uh, we had Colin from Batson's, who's uh, fighting cancer, and then we were able to uh, to have, uh, you know, the, the tragedy that occurred in Oxford uh, on the plane crash. Those children laid us out of the uh, tunnel tonight. And then uh, I know Sarah Perry was, was designated to be the, the kickoff tee, and she did that all night. So it just kind of came about really, uh, we thought, I don't know if it was one of you guys, maybe Neil or, or somebody. I, I can't remember whose idea it was, so I don't want to. Uh, there's been a lot of people that have thrown out ideas of how we can help in this time. Whoever came up with it, it was a great idea. I think they enjoyed it. Hugh Memphis gets to within six. Then you guys come out and respond. How do you feel like you guys responded once he got to, as Memphis started to kind of creep back there? Uh, if my memory serves me right, correct, we uh, went on a scoring drive that took about a minute. So I thought, uh, I thought the response was really good. I liked it a lot. Coach, in your opinion, uh, how did AJ Brown look out there for you? Um, really good at, uh, at at catching the football. He, he's good after it. 
Um, we had a couple third downs where he's a little, um, you know, he just needs more reps at it. Um, we, he just got the technique you have to use to, to win against a certain coverage. We just, you, you, it's hard to, to cover all of that and be really good at it. And, and that's the only thing I saw tonight that, you know, just his technique on, uh, I know one time was, was bad. <coughs> the times we came to him, he looked good. He's going to be a really special player. Are any more questions up top? I will come back down here for a couple more. I assume the open day comes at a pretty good time for you guys. Yeah, we, we've uh, man, we've got a lot of kids out, and uh, so we're not coming back, obviously. Um, but it gives us a chance to get some of these younger kids uh, just some. And let's quit game planning for half of the practice, and let's just work on technique and our eyes being in the right place, and some one on ones, and. Um, there's just a lot of things we've got to address some linebacker. Maybe it's Sean Curtis at Mike linebacker, or you know, I, I don't know. But we've got to. I'm looking forward to taking. Um, we won't have long practices, uh, but half of them we, we can work on some stuff. All right. Anything else, for Coach Freeze? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. What?